Jan Ozer here. In this tutorial, I'm going to explore the impact of using the Use Maximum Render Quality switch right here in terms of both uh, encoding quality and encoding time. Adobe says that if you use the Maximum Render Quality switch, you deploy superior scaling algorithms and higher quality color spaces that can dramatically improve quality. The downside is encoding time, which can increase by as much as 10x. In the past, I've tested this function and I found very little difference in quality, but I was reviewing some, uh, some GPU cards from NVIDIA and decided it was time for a retest. So let me show you what I did. I looked at several different projects, some real world projects, some synthetic projects, and I rendered them to 854 by 480 resolution using both maximum render quality and not using maximum render quality. Then I put the clips on the same timeline so I could toggle back and forth. Now, what I also did, and let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So what I also did was I went back to the original projects. So this is the Beth project, and then here's the Beth project as I developed it. So I went back to the original project, and I, I looked to see, okay, well, how, how close does the rendered project look if I use maximum render quality or if I don't use it? And I did that with two projects, two of the three that we're going to look at. This is the Beth project, and I also used it for a project produced by NVIDIA and so this is the original project here and then here are the various rendered versions of that project. Now you're not going to see anything in this small video window so what I'm going to do now that I've explained all the stuff that's here is I'm going to drag this down and make the video window as big as possible. Okay so here's our DSLR source footage and if we toggle back and forth this is maximum quality enabled and this is no maximum quality. You're not going to see a lot of difference in the actual detail in the clip, but you will see a lot of difference in what the title looks like. So this is no maximum quality. This is maximum quality. And let's go back to the original clip and see which one more closely matches the, um, the original title as applied. So now I'm back in the original clip. Um, and so this is the original clip. This is the clip with maximum render quality, and it looks pretty similar. So now I'm back to the original clip, now I'm back to the rendered clip with maximum render quality, and now I'm going to use the clip without maximum render quality. And then we see the difference in the titles. We see a much darker image, we see much more bleeding here. And if we go back to the Beth clip, this is the original. This is the rendered clip without maximum render quality, and we see quite a substantial difference between what I produced in the clip itself and what ended up in the rendered file when I did not use maximum render quality. So it's not just a detail difference, and we'll see an example of the detail difference in a second. It, it's actual, you know, how closely does the rendered clip match what it is that you programmed in when you were designing the clip. Okay, so